looking at my grandfather, who used to farm at a smaller piece of land, where he was making enough for the family to eat. That's when I could see that uh, one can farm for a living. One can farm for the world, not only for eating at home. We're breaking ground, uh, especially in South Africa, uh, on tomatoes and writing the manual. We have about 70 odd developing farmers, of which 30 is on this program. Of the 30, we're getting a very, very good success rate. We've seen farmers from a junk state that's been uplifted to a guy that's actually buying himself a new bucky or buying himself a new fertilizer program or buying himself a new tractor and guys actually becoming farmers. When I started farming, I, I farm without a contract. Um, I heard that now they take a bread in the market. I've approached them. They didn't even hesitate to take me on. They said to me, they gave me a vendor number first for the first year and then the second year they start giving me a contract where they give seedlings and then they buy everything from us. I would like to make sure that I produce better quality tomatoes, tomatoes that can be canned, tomatoes that can be used as a tomato paste, making sure that I've got quality from grade A to grade last. Unemployment in this area is rife and the more commercial operations that we can establish, the more stable the employment. And once we've achieved what we want on tomatoes in Wanedi, have those skills being transferred onto other crops that can give them the diversity on their fields to be a sustainable operation 12 months of the year. That is the end goal. We want to uplift the local community. If I can spend the whole day or two days without coming in the farm, I feel like I'm sick. Because those plants which is in the field there, it's like a baby to me. I need to go and say hello each and every day. When I came here, I didn't know how to lay a trap. Now I know. When I started with tomatoes, I didn't even know how to. <laughs> the, first, the first block was actually a flop. I had to redo. But then learning, it's, it, it comes every day. When you wake up and then you get to a farm, there's something, there's something different. And then constantly, you need to be calling people who have the right information for you to be able to continue well with farming. Every time you find a new disease you don't know about, you take a picture, you WhatsApp, what's this, I'm worried, is it bad? I think I chose the right year to, to join Tiger Brands because there was an opportunity of plowing tomatoes with a free loan that doesn't have interest. I don't get to stress about whether do I have enough pesticides, do I have enough fertilizers to go on. Everything is covered and they also include electricity, so there is no hassle. You just have to work hard enough to stay in the game. The fantastic thing is no farmer should have to deal with these problems alone and that's why Tiger Brands is there with our field support. The only main market is the Tiger Brand. All those tomatoes that you saw is the Tiger Brand. Without Tiger Brands, we are nothing. This is the job that I will do for the rest of my life. This is the job I love.